Hi, Adrian here. In this video, I will show you how to create a reveal title or text so it's customizable, dynamic and length compatible. So smash subscribe if you haven't already and let's begin. So first create new fusion composition, right click somewhere in the media panel and choose create new fusion composition. Default duration, which is 5 seconds, is OK. You can name it, FPS does not matter right now, and create. Double click it, and here we are in the Fusion page. Our composition has only media out, so let's add background node. In the inspector, make it transparent by setting alpha to 0, and connect it to the media out. Now add text node, type some text, correct size, maybe tracking. Once done, make a copy of the text node, but paste it using Ctrl Shift V key combination. It will create a new instance of the text node. You can tell it by this green thin line and green borders in the inspector. It means that all those controls have the same values as the original node. In other words, they are connected with each other. Let me change the name. It will be my wiping bars, so let's call it bars. And let's preview it on the left viewer. So whenever we want to change value of the parameter and don't want to affect the parent node, we need to deinstance it. Let me show you. If I don't deinstance this enable checkbox and select it, I will activate this option in parent node also. So first I need to deinstance and then enable. Remember to do it before changing any parameter in the new instance node copy, unless you don't want to deinstance it on purpose, of course. So I will change appearance to border fill and level to text, and increase the extent horizontally and vertically, and also the color. Next, I will create another instance copy of our bars node and use it as a mask so I will connect it to the loop input of the merge node. Nothing happened because we have to invert the mask in the merge node settings. If you watch closely, there is a tiny little line left, probably because the mask is not big enough to cover 100% of our bars node. I will increase horizontal and vertical extent parameters some more, but only in the mask, so first I need to deinstance them. Now it's perfectly masked out. Let me show you what will happen if I change the X size of the mask. Exactly, it looks as if we have two separate bars. I will change the color of the mask so that you see better how it works. By mask, I mean the instance copy of the text node that we used as a mask. So if we change the X size of the bars and mask node at the same time, it will look as if the two bars were moving. But in order the bars were visible, the mask X size need to be a bit smaller than the bars X size. Let me write a simple expression. So right click on the X, expression, and now write the name of the node, in our case bars, then a dot. And click the plus icon. The bars have disappeared because now our mask has the same X size as the bars node. So let's modify our expression a bit minus 0.05. It will guarantee that the mask will be always 0.05 smaller than the bars node's X size. Let me change the name of our mask. So all we need to do is to animate the X size control. In order to do it, we will use anim curves. So right click, modify with anim curves. And the controls of the anim curves can be found under modifiers tab. As you see, we've got anim curves on text size X2. It's called automatically like that. Before you start changing any control, let's see how the default settings animate our X size. So if you move the playhead back and forth, you will better know what to adjust. First off, the size is scaling too much. So I will set 1 instead 5 in the scale control. And if we preview it now, you see that the size is not bigger than 1. If we move the playhead to the end, the size is 1. That's what we want. You can fine tune it with the offset, adjust the scale if 1 is not what you want and so on. But in this example, it's fine. But we don't want the animation to last the entire time. So we can correct the time scale control. We know that the whole composition is 5 seconds, so if I increase time scale to 5, the animation should last 1 second. And it's exactly what it is. Finally, to make it more natural and smooth, we can adjust the curve shape. We can select custom and manually shape the curve. 
Personally, I like easing option and choose predefined in and out. So for example, for out, I will set Cine, Sign, and for in, maybe Cubic. It looks dynamic and smooth at the same time. Okay, next, we need to animate our text size. But before, we need to deinstance the size parameter in the instance copies. Because if we don't, the size will be animated not only for the text, but also our bars will change size, which we don't want. Okay, we are ready to create anim curves for the size parameter. So basically, I proceed the same way and let's animate also opacity. Finally, you can add a nice trick so that the reveal animation ends by being played in a reverse. You only need two extra nodes to do that. One is dissolve and the second one, the time speed. Time speed need to be connected to the foreground green input of the dissolve. And what the dissolve node will actually do is switching between background, which is your animation and foreground, which is your animation being played in reverse because in the time speed node, we will change speed control to minus one, which means playing normal speed, but in reverse. You might ask, but how the dissolve node will know when to switch between background and foreground? Well, we need a simple expression for that. So right click on the background foreground parameter and choose expression. I've just pasted a ready to use expression that solves our problem. It's a condition if, so this is what it does. It checks if time, in other words, if current frame is greater than all the frames of the composition divided by two. So basically, if our playhead is halfway through, it will return one, otherwise it's zero. Let me play it. So this is it. Your first reveal text animation is ready. You can create a customizable preset using macro, but that I will cover in the next video. So like and subscribe if you haven't already. Drop a comment to support my channel. Stay also tuned to my coffee shop page. I will release shortly a new title bundle pack. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.